this is something which is inevitable. So this change is gonna come. So we also heard at the, uh, the D10 e conference several talks which implemented and stressed the importance that as developers as we know them now are gonna change in the next five to ten years to being way more specified into blockchain technology. So why not start today? I guess um, 1995 it was as difficult to find web developers as it is to find blockchain developers right now and in 10 years probably more um, than half of the developers will have had some experience at least with blockchains and in 20 years probably even elementary school um, students will know the basics of crypto essentially the basics of our society will probably be based on a decentralized ledger which is tamper proof which is censorship free and there's a huge opportunity here really literally to change the world hands on the opportunities i think the largest opportunity is really to get to the next level of globalization a stage of development of the human race which doesn't have any more any borders literally there's no reason why we should have an intermediary it's a big efficiency upgrade and a big let's say, integration of the world which will go on. And also science has proven that if we integrate economically more deeper, the likelihood of violence, of wars, goes down a lot. We need to find ways how to integrate all these different economies further and get to the next level of, of society in the global sphere. Think global, act local. And um, when you think of distributing power, it just makes sense to have the blockchain and not have this one person and deciding everything. Um, it just gives you the opportunity to have like societies that are much closer together. Um, maybe not physically, but in terms of like interests or whatever. And the technology helps you to combine that. You could definitely elaborate it. That's what we are creating here is a new new consciousness, a new global consciousness which aggregates information from lots of participants on a global scale and then distills all this information to a single number between zero and one, which essentially is the likelihood whether an event will happen or not. And this way we can even see into the future. It's been also scientifically proven that prediction markets are one of the best ways to aggregate uh, yeah, the collective intelligence um, and leverage the wisdom of the crowds, as other people say, and it's a big opportunity as well. <laughs>